open up your MTT section and go ahead and date it and the title of this MTT is distance formula. There's three different forms of the distance formula. D equals RT which is also an uh, easy way to remember that is DIRT D I R T and then R equals D divided by T and T equals D divided by R. So these are the three problems that you're going to be working with using the formula and we're going to use that algebra format as usual. So the first thing we're going to do is write our formula. So first we have to figure out which formula we want to use how far does Mary travel? How far tells us that we're looking for the distance formula. So we're going to do D is equal to RT. Now one of the things that we're going to be uh, looking for is labels. 45 miles per hour, this label right here is a rate label. And hours is a time label. So we know that we're going to substitute in D is equal to 45 times 6. So D is going to be equal to 270 miles. Remember that we need to label. So for distance, it's probably going to be in miles. Our rate is going to be in miles per hour, and our time is going to be labeled hours. Okay, let's look at the next one. How fast? Fast would mean that we're solving for rate. So we're going to do R is equal to D divided by T. Now we're going to be looking for a distance measurement. Here's the distance measurement. It's miles. This is our distance. And again, here's the hours, and that's going to be our time. So we're going to do R is equal to 120 divided by 5. R is equal to 24 miles per hour. Remember your labels. The last problem, how long does Mary travel? How long would refer to time. So we're going to be looking for our T because that's what that's going to be long represents is time. So we're going to do T is equal to D divided by R. If she goes 72 miles, that's her distance, and miles per hour again is our rate. So we're going to be T is equal to 72 divided by 3. T is equal to 20 four hours. Now you know how to use the distance formula.